My name is Frida Escobedo. I'm a Mexican architect. I'm based in Mexico City. And this year I was commissioned to design the Serpentine Gallery Pavilion. We wanted to have a fresh idea for the pavilion that, that would also speak about what we do at the office on an everyday basis. The courtyard is something that is quite common in Mexico City and this concept of the celosia, which is like this screen wall that allows the sun and the wind to come in. This is a way of living in the exterior space in a very intimate manner. So the courtyard is quite contained, but actually the celosia allows the interior to filter in in a very subtle way. This is quite common just because of the weather, but actually it works beautifully in, in the garden because then you can see the green filtering in into this uh, darker space, which is a pavilion. We usually work with simple materials, industrial materials, and we try to create more sophisticated forms or arrangements with them. It's not about like a super expensive or sophisticated finishes. It's about how, what you create with, with simple things. Just rearranging this industrially produced concrete tile to produce this kind of weave that would let the sun and the light come in was the basic idea behind this. And because it's a modular thing, you can actually play with that and it becomes a system. So you can build it quite easily and when it needs to be moved, it can also be rebuilt quite easily. The pavilion will be here in Hyde Park for just a few months, but then it finds a more permanent home somewhere else. With this in mind, we had to anchor it to the site without having to be physically present in the site. So the Greenwich Meridian became the solution to try to deal with that contradiction. The basic geometry of the pavilion is this rectangular courtyard, and within that courtyard you have a rotation of other four walls that are aligned to the true north and the, to the Greenwich Meridian. So in a way, it will always have a reference to that line, even when it's moved into a different location.